All right, time now for an update on the Liberty men's and women's cross-country programs. And for more on that, we catch up now with first-year head coach Tim Sykes. And, uh, Coach, appreciate you taking a few moments here for us. Uh, your first season officially being over the program. I know you've been here a year and a half now working with the, uh, the distance runners and uh, getting acclimated to the program. Uh, what's that transition been like? The transition so far has been really smooth. Um, I came in a year and a half, year and a half ago, and um, it's – I was working with only the men's distance squad at that time. And then um, after the fall of cross country season of 2018 here, coach um, offered uh, the head cross country position to me, which was, which was an honor. And so I took over at that point, um, working with the distance runners, uh, men and women for the indoor and outdoor seasons this past spring semester. So it's been a really smooth transition. Um, culture's good, and the guys and girls, they're really optimistic about the fall uh, 2018 season. What's it like working with, uh, with Coach Tolzma, who's, who's been around here for so long and had so much success? He's a great mentor. Um, I heard a lot of good things about Coach Tolzma when I was working over at Virginia Military Institute um, as a teacher and coach So in the Big South. So I got to know Coach a little bit during that time period, and just really good – Good things um, were said about him, and then I won the opportunity to learn um, for some, from somebody like that who has a great spiritual character and who's been in the coaching um, track and field and cross-country business for a long time. So it's, it's been a, a good learning experience. I'm always open to learning new things from people that have been in the business for quite some time. Well, let's talk a little bit about your background. You mentioned VMI, but uh, you're, you're well-traveled. You've got a Ph.D. from Virginia Tech. You've spent some time coaching there, some time in Ohio as well. How do you feel like all of your past experiences have prepared you for this? The past experiences have been great. I've uh, learned from, from coaches at uh, Ohio University, Virginia Tech, Virginia Military Institute, um, and now here at Liberty. We have, we've assembled, Coach Tolzman has assembled a great staff here at Liberty, and uh, great mentors to learn from coach Rick Secker she's been in the program for quite some time so it's been good to she's helped me with transition here to Liberty and understanding the ins and outs of Liberty but it's uh, all those experiences have uh, comp been a compilation of uh, learning and practicing and now it's fun to get to um, put some of those things into practice with um, my own uh, program here so well, looking at your teams, uh, Azariah Kurwa returns on the men's side for his senior year. He was uh, 25th last year at Nationals and All-American. What are your expectations for him this year on this team? Azariah, he finished the spring um, somewhat injured this spring. So um, we're just wanting to get him healthy, um, get him healthy and get him firing on all cylinders again. He had a strong finish even for being uh, slightly injured there at the end of the spring so the sky's the limit for Azariah he um he puts in the training high level training he puts in high level recovery uh, he's a nursing major so he's learning to work uh, through that major and some of the clinicals so the goal for Azariah he finished 25th in the country last year in cross country I think he's probably a top 10 guy this year and uh, you know lord willing uh, if his training recovery and health uh, stay uh, consistent, he'll be there. On the women's side, uh, Noelle Palmer coming off a really good track season, uh, just finished fourth at uh, the USA Outdoor Junior Championships. What are your expectations for her, and how can she kind of take that next step and carry some of, that, some of that track momentum into the cross country season? You're right. It's all about momentum at this point for um, for both squads. But with Noelle, she is she has some great momentum moving forward. Fourth in the country at USATFs in the five USA track and field. Uh, nationals in the 5k is um, that's a big achievement so we truly believe if Noel just has a consistent summer where she's healthy continues to increase her aerobic ceiling there's um, she'll be putting herself in position to potentially get one of those individual spots for nationals in cross country so high expectations for Noel looking at some of the newcomers I think you told me it's a, a combined 15 freshmen coming in between the men's and women's teams uh, how many of those incomers can can kind of help you right away we have um, on the women's side we have four young ladies that had a really strong senior year um, those ladies uh, Emily Shelton coming in from Illinois she had her great senior uh, great senior season if Emma Bauer out of Ohio she had a great senior season Callie Parlier out of North Carolina had a great senior season and um, Naomi Bowser 
out of Delaware. She also had a great season. So four young ladies could potentially be in our top seven in the fall uh, based on what they've done their senior year. And then mixed with the returners of Anna, Greer, Noel, Cami, and Mary-Kate, uh, that's a really strong top eight. Um, and then we have, as you mentioned, we have another six freshmen coming in. So with our um, upper class returners. So it's going to be an exciting fall for the uh, women's cross country program. On the men's side, uh, we have four, um, or sorry, five young men uh, coming in, and uh, three of those guys have a shot to be in our top seven. So, well, looking ahead to the schedule here that was just released, uh, the Hokie invite will open things up on August 31st, a chance for you to go back up to Virginia Tech. And uh, also the A-Sun Championships will be in uh, New Jersey this year as well. How do you feel about the schedule this year and uh, how that will test your athletes? We're excited about the schedule. We put some time and energy into to completing that, knowing that we wanted to take a look at uh, the regional course, which is now at Winthrop University this year. So it's moving from Panorama Farms in Virginia, U at University of Virginia, to Winthrop. So we wanted to take a look at that. So we're going to go down there and um, see the regionals course. And then uh, we're excited to go up to Van Cortland Park as well up in New York. Um, NJIT will be hosting. That will be a, a new course for most of the Southeast guys and girls, but then we have some recruits from PA um, that have run on that course before. So it would be a familiar uh, course for them. So those two meets um, we're excited about, and then the chance opportunity to go out and run some of the best teams that against some of the best teams in the nation at pre-nationals in Wisconsin is also exciting. We get the chance to take a look at the course there for um, potentially uh, the guys team and then an individual or two on the women's side. Coach, appreciate the time. Good luck coming up here in the, uh, the fall. Thank you. Appreciate it.